This is the video that everybody has been asking me for. This is my definitive protein cereal ranking. Now a few things to note about protein cereal in general. Protein cereal is not as good as regular cereal. Even the best protein cereal is not gonna be as good as Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Captain Crunch, Golden Grams, or anything that's super duper delicious. Now, I am not keto. If you are keto, some of these options might be a little bit more appealing than they were to me. I didn't try to place too much weight into the actual nutrition facts of them. Obviously, protein count is a big one, but keto or not is not super important to me. But just something to keep in mind overall is that overall flavor, you have to lower your expectations a little bit when it comes to protein cereal because it's never going to be the same as regular cereal. And then the other thing that's important to note about protein cereal is the price. Now, I did not factor price into these because frankly, they are all super expensive. There are some that are more reasonably priced, which I will touch on. But for the most part, protein cereal is really expensive. And again, you cannot compare it to regular cereal. When it comes to protein cereal, you pretty much need to compare it to protein bars. When you break it down per serving and compare that to a protein bar, it's more comparable and it makes it a little bit easier to swallow. I'm gonna break this up into tiers with five cereals in each tier. Now the lowest tier, we have the inedible tier. Pretty self-explanatory. The second one, we have the health food tier. And that's basically, if you were to go to the store and pick up something that sounds healthy, eat it, and then it kind of tastes like leaves and sticks, your traditional healthy food, that's what these remind me of. The third tier is the surprisingly decent tier, and these are the ones that are surprisingly decent. And then the last tier, we have the best of the best, the cereals that I actually really, really like. Now I have a ton of actual review videos on my channel. I'm not gonna make you go back and watch them all, so what I'll do throughout this video is throw in some quick highlights from each one, that way you don't have to go back and view them all. I would love it if you did, but I'm realistic and I know you're probably not gonna, so I'll just throw in the good parts if there are any worth sharing now. Let's get into it. I got my little cheat sheet here, so I know where I'm at. Tier number one, the inedible tier. Now the lowest of the low, number 20, there's no contest for me. It is snack house cereal, and I'm not even gonna explain it. I'm just gonna let the video do the talking. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh my God. Wow, wow, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, oh, okay, okay. That chemical flavor hurts. That was so pungent that I'm almost afraid to take another bite of that. I don't know that I'm gonna be okay. Closely followed is Simple Truth Keto Cereal. Now at the time when I tried it, I didn't think a cereal could be worse than this one, then Snack House came along, but Simple Truth Keto Cereal is an absolute pass for me. That is the crunchiest cereal I've ever eaten. Maybe the crunchiest thing I've ever eaten, period. Not even in a pleasant way. That tastes so bad too. I don't like this at all. In fact, this might be my least favorite protein cereal I've ever had. Wonderworks is next. Now, a lot of people love Wonderworks, but for me, it is a big name company that the cereal should taste way, way better. that changes for the worst in milk. That becomes the strangest texture in milk. So it's still crunchy, but it's almost like packing peanuts where like kind of dissolves, but is also kind of crunchy. They lose flavor in milk. Hmm. Similar to Wonderworks, Catalina Crunch is one that a ton of people like. I didn't get it. It kind of, to me, just tastes like wood chips with a little bit of cereal flavor, but overall, really bland. They look like wood chips, I suppose. You can taste chocolate a little bit. It's quite, uh, what's the word? Dense and lacking flavor. If you take the bitter aftertaste of just straight cocoa powder and throw it into a bowl, that's what you get. 
after the fact. And then Nature's Path rounds out this category. This one kind of just tasted like burnt cereal, but that was somehow soggy. I don't know how they pulled that one off, but it is no good. Now the first one in this category is Incredible. It's basically Frosted Flakes, but if you made it kind of like paper, where it just totally dissolves and you give it an artificial sweetener flavor. The flavor could be worse when I'm not getting Frosted Flakes. And the texture, it's so light, uh, basically it just dissolves in your mouth. In milk, they lose all their flavor. If you married plain corn flakes and styrofoam together, that's kind of what this bowl is. I don't like it. After that 365 protein and fiber crunch, I think I got the name of that one right. It's healthy granola. There's really nothing to add. If you've ever had vanilla granola before, that's exactly what this was and not super high in protein. Schoolyard Snacks is the next one. Now this one is basically the definition of average for me. I had the peanut butter flavor and it tastes exactly like what you would anticipate peanut butter protein puffs to taste like. I described the scent as peanut butter-esque. I would describe the taste as peanut butter-esque. Kind of tastes like burnt peanut butter, but like slightly burnt. It's fine, it's got a sweetness to it. To be honest, I was expecting it to be way worse based on what I've heard. I1 Protein Crunchies are next. This was like an earthy version of Trix, but the protein count is so low that just the fact that they call this Protein Crunchies ruffles my feathers and keeps it low on my list. And then Kind Cereal rounds out this category. If you've ever had a Kind Bar, you know what to expect. Take that, turn it into a cereal. It is very much just a health food cereal. It's okay, not super high in protein, and doesn't taste really that great. Now in the next category, we have the surprisingly decent category. The cereals that surprised me, that I thought I was not gonna like as much as I did. Don't love them, but they're okay. This first one is RX cereal. Honestly, this belongs in the previous category. It's very much a health food, but I ran out of numbers because I'm doing five in each category, so it fell here. But for all intents and purposes, put it in the previous category. RX cereal, exactly what you would expect it to be. Kashi Go Keto Cereal is my next one. This is an earthy cereal. It's chickpea flour based, so that's a really distinct flavor. If you've never had it before, there are a few others coming up on this list that utilize that. It's an acquired taste, but it's not unpleasant by any means. It's just earthy. So if you're looking for an alternative to sweets, like if you decide to go keto or you need to give up grains for any reason and Cinnamon Toast Crunch is your absolute favorite thing in the world, you're not gonna like this. This is not a substitute for that. But if you're grain free and used to those kind of earthy flavors, uh, this is a solid option. After that, we have Misfits Protein Cereal. This one, I thought I wasn't gonna like it very much and the flavors kind of grew on me. My only issue with the cereal is that it's really subtle overall. If the flavors were stronger, this would be a much better cereal. Very, very crunchy. Ooh, ooh, there's an aftertaste. Initial flavor is chocolate protein powder, which is good, not great. Bitter aftertaste, weird aftertaste, back of the throat kind of aftertaste. So that's better in milk. And I will say, for being a plant-based cereal, you don't taste any plant-based protein, which is amazing. And then Kashi Go, not the keto version, just the regular one. That one's next on my list. This one is a lot of people's introduction to protein cereal. It's one of the big healthy cereals on the market. You've probably seen them in your store. They have a ton of different flavors. Some are better than others. I really like the cinnamon crunch, cinnamon something crunch. I'll put a picture up here. That's the one that I like. It is very much a healthy cereal, but it tastes really good, and it's one of the more filling cereals out there, so I really like it. And Love Grown Cereal is the last one in this category for me. Now, this one's pretty low in protein. It's one of the lower ones on this list. It's not really marketed as a super high protein cereal, so I don't hold that against them. I just personally love it. I've had it for years. It was one of the first healthier cereals that I got into. The chocolate one especially, it leaves an amazing chocolate milk at the end of the cereal, which is the best part of any chocolate cereal. I really recommend it. It's not a great protein source. It does have protein, so it fits this category, but I'm in it for the flavor. Now the best of the best, my top five, this is what you came for. 
Now a very quick note, high key cereal used to be in my top five. I think it was my number two. They pulled it off shelves. I reached out to them to find out why and they just said they're focusing on other products, which is a shame because I really liked it. So if it ever comes back, just know that that was one of my favorites, but it is now off this list. It's a shame. So at number five, we have Three Wishes cereal. This one is an earthy cereal, like the Kashi Go Keto I was talking about. It has that earthy flavor to it, but on flavor alone, if you can get past that earthiness, this one's a solid cereal across the board. Oh man, I don't know if they still make it, but there was a cinnamon bun cereal that I absolutely love. But man, that smells just like that. Ingredients list wise, there's not a whole lot going on there, which is great. Those are the sweetest by far. If you like sweet, honey is the way to go. That taste is like honeycomb. Phenomenal. It tastes way better in milk. Perfect Keto comes in at number four for me. Now I thought I was gonna hate this one because I'm not keto. This one's obviously marketed very heavily at the keto crowd. This one, when I ate it dry, I actually didn't like it. It tasted really artificial. But once you add it to milk, it tasted a lot like cookies and milk when cookies start to get a little bit soft in milk. So they're just like little cookies. Oh my God, they're so hard. I don't know what it is about keto cereal. It's so damn crunchy. So the main ingredient is sugar substitute and that comes through. The chocolate flavor is actually really good, but that sweetness really comes through. If you don't really like sugar substitute, I think that would be overpowering. Way better in milk. It's kind of like when you dip cookies in milk, when they start getting soft, before they hit that soggy point. Dry, way too crunchy. In milk, so much better. It's like cookies and milk. At number three, I have Special K Brown Sugar Cinnamon Crunch. A lot of these names are just eluding me. But the Special K Protein Cereal, I really like. Now, Special K has a protein cereal that's flakes that I don't think is nearly as good. The cinnamon version, it's like a softer version of Captain Crunch mixed with cinnamon, obviously. It's a little bit softer and stickier than cereal that you're used to. Overall flavor is really good though, and you can easily eat this as if it's a regular bowl of cereal. What I do is I actually mix it with Cinnamon Toast Crunch and they complement each other really well. So if you're into mixing cereals, which you should be, that's the move, but this is a really solid cereal. At number two, I have Premier Protein Cereal. I had the chocolate one first and I really didn't understand what the hype was about. And then I went back and had the berry version and I really, really, really like it. If you've ever had Special K Red Berries, it reminds me a lot of that. The only difference is the flakes in the cereal. They almost taste a little bit stale. If you eat That's fantastic. The flakes have a little bit more chew to them. They're crunchy, but they kind of dissolve a little bit. So it doesn't taste quite like a cornflake or a normal flake, but that's good. That's really good. This is amazing. Top three protein cereal, bar none. The chocolate one's pretty middle of the road when it comes to protein cereal. Anyone that says this cereal tastes like cardboard has eaten the chocolate version, for sure. This isn't that at all. This is awesome. And then at number one, I have Magic Spoon. If you follow me anywhere, you know I love Magic Spoon. You know I have for years. When they first burst onto the market, they were one of the earliest keto high protein cereals. They went real hard on influencer marketing and I was fully against them. I was out on the cereal because one, I'm not keto and two, when I just see people talking about it constantly, it turns me off to it because I feel like, all right, well, these people are incentivized to talk about it. Well now, here I am, one of those stupid influencers and I'm talking about Magic Spoon because I genuinely like it. It is as good as it sounds. Now, I don't love every single flavor, but I do like the majority of them. Uh, if I had to pick one, Fruity is my favorite. It tastes like a spot on replica of Fruit Loops. I don't know how they did it, but the flavor is way better than any protein cereal out there. The only downside is it's a very sticky cereal. So when you eat it, you're gonna be picking it out of your teeth because it's a little bit sticky and slimy. But to me, that is the only downside. Otherwise, the flavor is unmatched. So there you go, there are my definitive protein cereal rankings. Now you can disagree with me, but you're wrong because my taste buds are flawless. 
Let me know in the comments though, if you've had any of these cereals, what you think about them, because it's really fascinating to me how we all have such different taste buds. Your list could be completely opposite of mine. And if I miss any cereals, if there's any that you think I should try, let me know. I'm always happy to try new ones and I'll keep a running list to see where they slot in. That's all I got. I still don't know how to end videos, so maybe I'll just walk away.